Uh, distance learning has become the new norm for students and for parents before this. Remember, we used to try to lessen our kids' screen time and our own? But now it's everything, right? It's increased as classes are online, workouts are online, and adults are even spending more time staring at a screen, even while we're at happy hour, right? Life is different. So if you feel like your eyes are a little extra tired or strained, or maybe you've been experiencing headaches more frequently than before, it could be because of that increased exposure to the blue light that's coming from your screens, all this screen time. So we're joined this morning by Violette Sternberg, who is an optician and the owner of Paris Optique at the Scottsdale Waterfront. To talk a little bit about this, and Violette, I'm curious if you're customers and clients are having an increased awareness in the potential dangers of blue light and what are they asking about? Yep, we have definitely had more inquiries regarding blue light um, for our clients. Um, as we are continuing to be exposed to more and more blue light um, with the additional screen time, um, you know, whether we're learning from home or working from home, um, we are spending more time on lit up screens. And so this blue light coating that we are seeing on a lot of glasses that our designers are coming out with right now is really intended to help relax our eyes, um, reduce the strain from up close and lit up screens. Um, and to really allow us to relax our eyes for a better night's sleep. The whole purpose of the blue light is really, uh, or reducing blue light is really to help us with evening sleeping. Oh, especially, yeah, they always tell you you're not supposed to be looking at your cell phone right before bed. Yeah. So you said some of the designers are already putting this on the products and the glasses oh, that you're yeah. selling there at Paris Optique. But this is also an option to add on if you feel like this is an issue for you and you're getting a new pair of glasses. Yes, yes. So it's available as a coating for prescription lenses. And we also have it available. Some of our designers, I pulled a, a Tom Ford here, for example, um, has a blue light coating on the demo lens already. So if, you, if this is purchased as is, a client can, can wear this without prescription and really help their eyes in front of their screens. So is there as any well. downside to it? Because I know that I've had conversations about that it, it looks a little bit different if you're not used to it. And so as people are maybe transitioning and they think, well, I don't only use my glasses for looking at the screen. I'm also using them for reading books or driving. Is there any drawback to it that we should consider before, make, before adding it to your next pair? Yeah, so we do like people to know that it will add a little bit of a yellowish, yellowish hue to the lens, and it will also add a blue reflection to, to the lens. Um, that is what it's trying to eliminate, so it does kind of mimic that in the, the coating. Um, so you will see a little bit of a more mirrored appearance to your lens. Have you heard about this contributing to headaches and eye strain? Yeah, uh, is this yeah. something that's pretty common in your industry? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's growing for sure. So you've got some beautiful glasses behind you and I am a, a sunglass junkie. So um, you're back open for business. You're there at the Scottsdale waterfront and I imagine uh, you're really looking forward to seeing some uh, foot traffic as people are starting to come in and out um, and get a little bit back to normal life. This is a business that's been open for decades, right? Yeah, 30 years. 30 We've been years. Around for 30 years, family yeah. business. Family business, we have two well, locations. We, we have one here at Scottsdale Waterfront and one at Scottsdale Court. Well, we will uh, hope to see you in there and uh, get back to what it's like to shop and, and touch and try things on. <laughs> Avila yes, Sternberg of Paris Optique at the Scottsdale Waterfront. Uh, thank you so much and uh, we'll minimize our screen time for the rest of the day. See you yes. soon.